Karen, this budget gives about a $200 million increase to public ed across the board. That compares with close to $50 million last year. Some staff here say this could be the beginning of turning schools around in Oklahoma. The future is bright and it, it looks like we've, we've got the bus headed in the right direction. I miss getting to talk with to you the $203 about million dollar boost to public ed. There's about 190 additional dollars available for every student. In districts like Union, teachers are hoping to improve technology. Some great apps for these these guys to use and our students to use with their with their new laptops. Um, it means more technology for us that we can use to to reach a 21st century learner. Interesting. So you're saying Districts will also put a $1,200 teacher pay raise into their formula, giving a boost to 97% of educators. Next year, they're pushing for support staff to see the same recognition. They do not make a living wage. It's really pathetic, and we couldn't do it without them. These are our bus drivers, our teaching assistants, our secretaries, our custodians, our cafeteria workers, and the list just goes on and on. Some teachers say instead of saving $200 million, more money could have gone to classrooms. But others tell us budget problems started because of overspending. Could we have spent $100 million more on education? Sure, but we could have done the same thing for DHS. We could have done the same thing for prison systems, any of those other very needed organizations out there. As far as becoming top 10, many educators are hopeful this is progress. I think we're getting there. Let's not let's not get carried away. Let's go, you know, let's uh, let's get let's get ourselves into the into the 40s comfortably into the 40s and into the 30s okay, so first. Of the teachers we spoke with, they say the biggest priority for funding is bringing down class sizes and adding counselors. Reporting live in Tulsa, Megan Allison, Two Works for You.